Hi, good afternoon, Dan from Midwest Technical Sales, Richard behind the camera. What we're going to demonstrate today is power supply replacement in a Dell 114X. These are the power supplies designed for SAS drives. So obviously the first thing you want to do is remove the power cord. Have the power cord out, unscrew this in the back, and the cover comes off. The power supply is located back here. And what you're going to need for that basically is a T10 Torx. Okay? And you have five or six uh, uh, screws to take off here. And as usual, I like to take the screws off and place them in a particular place so I know if I have an extra screw there's a problem. At this point in time, what I would suggest you do is take a picture with your cell phone so you know where all of these particular connectors go. So. I've taken off the screws off the top of the power supply and removed the cover, which looks like this. Then there are six screws that hold the actual power supply into the chassis. And there's one ground lug, which is green. Okay. Taking those out, and here's the power supply. Okay. The green wire. Now you notice on this particular power supply that there are um, a number of wires that come out the front and one wire that comes out of the side. Now, what you don't want to do is try to remove this connector from the dry, uh, from the uh, PCB board, because it's soldered on. It's not going to work. It comes apart in um, the wiring harness, and it just plugs into here. So wherever you see a little plug, um, you can take these little plugs off and detach them, and then you can remove the power supply. Now the power supply itself, um, we've got some wires that run to the fan, we've got this particular wire runs the on off switch, so these run the fan and, and give the front display a little bit of uh, light. So replacement is the same thing, place it in there, tighten the screws down, look at your picture, hook up the uh, particular connectors to the drive. In this case with the SAS drive you're going to have the SAS connector going into the drive and the power plugs into here. Now you may ask why should I replace my power supply? Well there's a number of reasons. Power supplies go bad for uh, in exhibit three symptoms. One, it's dead. There's no power. That's pretty obvious. Secondly, if you're having issues with your tape drive such as um, it took out the motherboard, it isn't performing properly, you could be running low voltage on your power supply. Uh, on these particular connectors, the center is ground and the two sides are either 5 or 12 volts. Um, the red one, uh, which I have hooked up here, is the 12 volt side. Now the industry standard is plus or minus 5%, so you can do the math from 12 volts plus 5%, minus 5%, 5 volts plus and minus. Uh, you don't really need to take the drives out, all you have to do is take the, the connector off and reassembling on them is uh, relatively simple. Power supply goes in, cover goes back on, you've got two screws in the back here that hold the power supply on, but they're going to be in your screw supply so you know exactly uh, where they go. When we check power supplies we do a couple things and I don't know if I can, move, do I need to move this rich or just can you go down to it? On, on this particular unit, we're just using a fluke here, and you can see that it's showing on the 12 volt side, it's showing 11.81 1 um, volts. If I switch over to the 5 volt side, you're going to see the voltage is putting out on 5 volts, okay? In this case, it's 5.224. Now, this is just a power supply we use on the bench for testing our uh, tape drives and things like that but that's what you expect to see for voltage. Now there's a couple of other things that go wrong with power supplies is they deteriorate over age. And one of the things that we use uh, to see if there's any AC ripple is a very low end uh, Hanatech oscilloscope. This plugs into a, UP, a USB port on a laptop and we have our various probes in here for checking the voltage uh, and if there's any ripple on it. One of the other things that we use in-house uh, for that is a high pot tester. And basically what this guy does is we 
plug it into the wall, plug this into it, and then we, we can determine if there's leakage in that power supply. And leakage is just a matter of the insulation material breaking down in the transformers and the components on the board. The other thing, once you get all finished with this and, and you uh, are ready to power it on, you can power it on, but make sure these two fans are working. Typically these fans don't go out, but they could go out. If it went out, it could overheat the power supply. You can overheat the power supply, the voltage will change and the tape drive will not be happy. It could either take out a fan on the tape drive, it could take out the main board, whatever. So if you're having an issue, with the tape drive uh, and, you, and, and you're not sure if it's the power supply, we can evaluate those power supplies for you um, that kind of help you along in the process. Any questions, feel free to give us a buzz. Uh, Midwest Technical Sales and Rich will have some uh, information on there how to contact us. And if you purchase these from us, we'll also give you tech support on it. Thanks for your time.